Let's take a look at the following three scenarios. My question to you is, is there a difference? In other words, are all of these just 36? Are some of them negative 36? How do we know how to figure that out? Where do the parentheses come into play? So all of these are great questions and I'm gonna dissect these three scenarios for you. So let's first take a look at um, what most people would consider the easiest one, right? We've got this six squared here. Let's think about how we would write this in terms of its word name. So if I had to ask you to write it out, what would you write? So we could think of this as saying six squared. We could also think of this as saying two factors of six. Now if we're gonna write this out as an equation, we would say six times six is the same as 36. So we know that six squared is 36. Okay, awesome. Let's skip this one for just a moment because I feel like this is actually the trickiest one. Let's look at this one right here. So as you can see, I've got my parentheses around this negative six, and this tells me that I have the quantity of negative six, so we can always read parentheses as the quantity. So the quantity of negative six squared. So let's go back to thinking about this in terms of words and factors. So instead of saying six squared, I'm going to say the quantity of negative six squared. And really when I think about the factors language, I'm really saying I need two factors of negative six. Lastly, I wanna look at the mathematical equation. So I know that I'm going to say negative six times negative six, which equals positive 36. Again, I know that a negative times a negative gives me a positive. Now let's go to this one in the middle. This is not negative six squared, because again, this was the quantity of negative six squared, that's what this one is. So let's instead read this negative as the opposite of. So I can read this in words as the opposite of six squared, so let's write that. When I look in terms of my factor language, I'm actually going to say this is really the opposite of two factors of six. Now, when I go to write this as an equation, I'm gonna write it a little bit different. I'm gonna write it as the opposite of two factors of six, and when I think of this in terms of order of operations, I know that I need to do my parentheses or my grouping symbols before I multiply times that negative there. So I'm actually going to write negative 36, and then I can go ahead and simplify this down to negative 36. So when looking at this, is there a difference between these three expressions? There definitely is. As you can see, six squared and the quantity of negative six squared, both is going to give us a positive 36. However, this guy right here, which we're gonna read as the opposite of, six squared is going to give us a little bit different answer because I'm going to have to think about squaring this number before I put that opposite back in. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of clarity on how to deal with these three expressions.